Hi Dragons, it's Mrs. McHenrick, back again, and today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020, and I am here with your daily drawing prompt, and just a little sunshine to brighten your day. So I wanted to start with our shout out for the day, which is going out to Mrs. O'May's first grade class. Boys and girls, I hope that you are safe and healthy, that you are taking time to do all the schoolwork that Mrs. O'May has put together for you and that you are making great choices with your family, being kind and generous and loving. And just remember that this is a tricky time for a lot of people, including your parents. So make sure that you are showing them a lot of love and being very respectful. Okay, so I have for you today a special guest. Before I can get to my special guest though, I need to show you some of the amazing camping trip uh, pictures that got sent in to me because they're so cool. I really think that uh, I would go on any of these camping trips. They look really fun and boys and girls, I love how you tried different techniques, you added a lot of color. I'm really, really proud of you because I'm throwing a lot at you this week, okay? All these different ways to add color to your artwork, I'm really impressed, so good job, keep it up. So here we go, here's the mailbag. It is time for the main event, and I am so excited today because I have a special friend who is going to be doing our drawing prompt with us. Now, if you saw on Facebook or YouTube, one of your schoolmates from the intermediate school, Anthony, has his own YouTube channel, and he has been posting a daily, or I guess a nightly video, where he talks about his day. He usually does a couple of jokes and turns out he's also willing to interview teachers. So I got to go on his uh, YouTube channel the other day and he asked me some questions and I asked him some questions and it was such a good time and it was so good to see him. And after we were done, we filmed the drawing prompt for today. So Anthony is actually going to be helping me do the drawing for you and you're going to be seeing me and Anthony and the drawing that we're doing all together, which is draw a Pop-Tart lifting weights. What kind of Pop-Tart is it? You could even create your own flavor. Cool. Well, I have a super fun weightlifting Pop-Tart to share with you now and um, I am just, I just, before we get into that, I just want to say thank you, Anthony, and thank you to your mom, who, uh, both of you who were so nice to get to do this with me, and it just made me feel so, so good, because otherwise, you know, I'm just talking to my phone, and I know you're, maybe you're out there, everybody's out there watching and listening, but in my room right now, it's just me and my phone, and it's weird. So it was nice to get to talk to you, and here we go. Here is um, Pop-Tart Lifting Weights with Anthony. All right, Anthony. So you and I are going to do a drawing. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so this week um, we've been doing some drawing prompts, and for today we're going to do draw a Pop-Tart Lifting Weights. 
<laughs> what kind of pop tart is it? And you can even create your own flavor. Now I have to ask you, what are your feelings on pop tarts? Um, I like them a lot. You do? okay? So what are your favorite? Do you have one favorite flavor? Or do you have lots of favorite flavors? Mm, my one favorite flavor is blueberry. Oh, is that the one that has like? a blue frosting, like a purple frosting, and then the blue line through it, or is that a different one? Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. I don't know, but I know it has like sprinkle. Oh, sprinkles on it? Okay. Yeah. Like well, if you, if you want to make your um, Pop-Tart, a blueberry Pop-Tart, you can. <laughs> okay? Okay. You ready? Yep. All right, take your permanent marker out. And I know that you are quite an artist. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and help all of us see. Um, so, Anthony, we are going to start with the body of our Pop-Tart. Okay? okay. All right, so you're going to start with two straight lines. And these are the edges of the Pop-Tart. So if you want to make them a little bit wavy, you can. And then the other edge will be near it. Okay. And then our pop chart is actually going to be kind of lifting weights at an angle. So I'm just going to draw almost a little bit of a diagonal line to connect the top and bottom. Top and bottom. I'll tell you my favorite pop chart flavor. Um, because I ate a lot of Pop-Tarts in my day. My favorite Pop-Tart flavor has typically always been either strawberry, classic, or the cinnamon sugar, I think it's called. It's like the brown one. All right, we're gonna get some Pop-Tart frosting. And this is kind of just a wavy line all the way around the inside of your Pop-Tart. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. All right. Now we're going to do, you know how Pop-Tarts have those crinkly edges? Yeah. Draw some lines coming from the very outside edge going in towards the frosting. Go all the way around. Okay. All right, now we're going to draw, uh, our Pop-Tart's gonna be doing like a bicep curl. So we're gonna draw a diagonal line across his body. Just like that, that's going to be the bar. His bicep curl, or hers. <laughs> and now we're going to start by doing some arms and the arms are gonna be big Vs. And I'm gonna start my first arm over here where the the Barbell crosses the edge of the pop chart. I'm gonna come down in a V and then come up to meet the barbell line. I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side, kind of in line with where I guess the shoulder of the pop chart would be before. Go down and then come back up. Meeting that barbell line. And then he's just gonna have little dot hands, circle hands. <laughs> How's that? Okay. All right. Now, this part's the tricky part, and I think that I figured it out earlier today. We're going to do the two weights on both sides. So we're going to start by doing a circle on the right side here, a small circle. And then you're going to do two more circles and the, each one is gonna get a little bigger. And you can see mine's kind of like a squished circle. A little bit squished. All right, and now we're going to give it some form, make it appear 3D by adding short lines to the top and bottom of that outside circle. And then connecting those two lines. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're going to do the kind of the opposite thing on the other side. So we're going to start with a open circle shape. I guess an open C, okay. backward C, and straight lines at the top and bottom of that. Now we're going to do another backward C shape. That's going to make the flat edge of the bar or of the weight. Now we'll do the same thing, but smaller right inside of that. And those two little lines to connect. Same. And then one more. Shoop. Two little lines. So now we're going to finish these off by making them finishing our circles. So what I'm going to do is this little one where I had that small C, I'm just going to connect it into almost a circle -y shape. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. And then the same thing with the last one. Nice job. All right, so now we're going to give our Pop-Tart some facial expressions. So what would be a face that a Pop-Tart might be making lifting a really heavy weight? Yeah, <laughs> just like that. All right, so we're gonna start with a big uh, rainbow shape right above the bar of the weight. Okay. Almost like a big frowny face, but we're going to add it. We're going to turn it into a jelly bean, jelly bean shape. This is going to be the mouth. And I don't know about you, but when I'm lifting something heavy, I might clench my teeth. Go. Urgh. So we're going to put a line through that jelly bean and then give our pop tart some teeth. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do his eyes and they're going to look like two little rainbow shapes to start. But we're going to give him um, some almost eyebrows that connect to the corners of those rainbow shapes. Like his forehead is crinkled. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and what's something that you do if you're at the gym and you're lifting heavy weights and you've been working hard for a long time, what's something you might be doing? Uh, sweating. Yeah. But pop charts, they don't just sweat. Regular sweat. Don't you think that they might sweat? Or frosting. Frosting! Or jelly, even. You can give him some frosting sweat. I was even thinking maybe even one like a little bit bigger kind of. Silly. All right. All right, and then we're going to do, give them some legs. So we're going to just start down here. They're gonna come right off the, the crust down here at the bottom. And we'll start by with a little horizontal line to make a knee. And then I just did like a tiny little foot on mine. And then the same thing a little bit further down. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, can you hold up your drawing for us so far so that we can see? Oh my gosh. Anthony, it looks amazing. I love it. Yes. It looks great. You did a great job. All right. Now, so what I've been, um, it's my YouTube channel this week. I've been teaching the kids 
different ways to add color to your artwork. And I was thinking about it because I don't know how many kids have paints at home. And we, I didn't really have a chance to send paints home with everybody. So I've been trying to think of fun ways to do things that's like painting without using paints. Okay. So that's where the markers come in. <laughs> do you have the hiccups? <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to do, just because I have the right colors for it, I think I'm going to do mine like a bear, one of those berry Pop-Tarts, like purple. But I want to show you a cool trick. You can use a um, marker, washable marker, and you can turn it into a watercolor. So you pick whatever color you want for the frosting, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So what you can do is if you just take your marker and you go around the outside of the area you want to fill in with that color. I want all my frosting to be this purple color. Okay. Okay. So now, do you have a paintbrush with water handy? A bunch of paintbrushes and one cup of water. Perfect. Okay, so if you get a paintbrush ready with some water on it, now what you're going to do is you're going to put the water on where the marker and you're going to see something really cool happen. Does it spread out your marker color? Kinda. Kinda. If you add a little more water, some colors might be a little bit stronger than others. It's because you're using the white color. Oh yeah. You might need to dip it again. It's also not gonna be as bright as your marker is. So it's we're kind of thinking of it at like a watercolor. I'm using a really bright color, so it doesn't show up at that much, but. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's something that we have to, we learn about and we experiment about with art, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm going to start. I'm gonna do the same thing too with my crust. Start working on that. Mine's a really well toasted pop tart. It's got a dark brown crust around the edge. Mine's actually okay because it, even though it doesn't really show up that much, it's mm -hmm. okay because I'm trying to go for like a blueberry theme. Oh, perfect. So like, I know so you, like the frosting's like white, but yeah, if I can like try to get just like a little blue, like and a little hint of the blue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then you can do the crust, or you could do the uh, what color do? the frosting, frosting sweat. I'll do some frosting sweat. This is just so fun to do this with you, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you. It makes me so happy to get to spend time with a student today. That's so cool. 
get like a smaller brush. Cool. Mine's like a toasted. Yeah, like a mine too. Had a little extra time in the old toaster oven. <laughs> do you like to toast your pop tarts? Mm hmm. You do? I like to eat I mine. I haven't tried one in a while, but I know I, I know I like them. Yeah. Wow. They're a delicious, sugary pastry treat. How can you not? Do you like this technique, Anthony? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun, right? Mm-hmm. And you could do it. You don't have to use a Sharpie. You could use a pencil for your lines um, so that if you wanted to go over something again, you could. I think I'm all done. Okay. Why don't you hold it up for us and just tell us about what, uh, what you did. So I did a little blue tint right there. And then I did br like kind of like a blackish brown for the weights, kind of like a little blue tint for the for the sweat, and then just kind of did like a little brown for the crust. That looks awesome, and it's still a little wet. That's okay. You you can even wipe those away with paper towel if you want to, or your finger works too. My favorite tool is my finger. Um, but Anthony, I can't thank you enough for doing this with me today. It has been so much fun for me to get to see you and talk to you and make a little art together. It makes me so happy. Thank you. All right. Well, I think we're going to sign off. Okay. All right. Well, Anthony, thank you for having me today. Thank you for having me too. <laughs> I can't wait to keep watching your videos. I have already subscribed to your channel and I love them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. Let's do this again, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. 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 We're going to do it again. Yeah. Yay.